Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full blaster case of 2020 Mosaic Football. Love this mosaic stuff. The Bengals will be randomized to somebody in the break if you follow the instructions here. No veteran common ship in this one. So big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Now let's see who wants to go for the Bengals. Let's sort by column A by your first name. So Alec bought two teams. That's an entry. Arthur bought two teams. That's an entry. So did Ben, Chase, EA, Harrison, Jeffrey, and Joseph. Joshua bought five teams. Four count for the purposes of the promo. That's two entries. Peter bought two teams. That's an entry. Roy bought two teams. That's an entry. Ryan bought two teams. That's an entry. And Bulldog fan Will bought, a, bought two teams. That's an entry. Let me just kind of eyeball this again here. So we got Will, Ryan, Roy, Peter... Josh with a couple, Joseph, Jeffrey, Harrison, EA, Colston, Ben, Arthur, and Alec. Perfect. So let's gather your names here. Put them all into this list. And the name on top after three times, three easy times, thanks random.org, uh, we'll get the bangles in this full caser. One, two, and three. And congrats to Alec. Alec Harrison after three times. Congrats to you. You have the Cincinnati Bengals. Little little cat team mojo there. All right, so now let's sort this back by team name. So there's there's Alex still with the Bengals. And now let's print and rip. So there's, there's the whole mosaic blaster case right here. We've seen some pretty nice stuff pop out of here over the, uh, over the months that we've been opening all this mosaic. So hopefully that trend continues. but we've got five boxes here. You can kind of see on the top camera too. Five boxes here, five boxes here, and five boxes there. All right, well, let's open up a handful of boxes at a time. Oh yeah, you're 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 three three leg parlay. How's that working out, Sean? It's the hardest part's done. Yeah, I forgot there was a number of fights going on tonight, huh? Would you would you have been able to get? I'm, I'm assuming you you would have been able to get better odds if it was like win by disqualification. With, if you you have been driving to Vegas in a Lambo, if you if you picked win by disqualification, that never happens. What was the what was the disqualification?
Obviously, if you're re-watching this video, you can fast forward through this part. I think if you, it's either the, look it up, but I think it's either the letter J, K, or L. I think K might be pause, J might be rewind 10 seconds, and K, L might be something like that. Look it up. They're hotkeys to use if you're on the browser. I think if you can, you could double tap the side of your screen, right? The, if it's your phone's like this, you can double tap right there. And I think that might do 10 seconds advance, something like that. If you're on a mobile device. Oh, I see. So some guy was on the ground. Ref said he was grounded, so no knees or kicks, and then this other dude threw in a vicious knee that obliterated him. Wow, that must have been bad if there's like, all right, you're out, you're done, you're disqualified. That is kind of wild. All right, so obviously vet commons like this aren't going to ship. N NFL debut will ship. Jason Witten Silver, so that will certainly ship. Christian McCaffrey's Green, that's a parallel. That will ship as well. Uh, the Drew Brees won't ship. All rookie cards obviously are going to ship. Will to win, that's an insert that will ship. These cards, I don't know where, where these cards were, but they got a little more of a bend to them than than they than I've seen in previous cases. Just FYI, that's where they're kind of sliding around there. Joe Burrow, there we go. There's NFL debut Joe Burrow. Going to, where's that printout? There it is. Going to Alec, who got randomized the Bengals in this one. There's everyone else. Thank you, everyone, for getting in. Jalen Hurts, Tyler Boyd, Jalen Hurts NFL debut for EA and the Eagles. So far, he's the QB one. I did hear rumblings that they that the Eagles might want to try to bring in another quarterback for a little competition. I don't know if they they think he's quite ready yet. But he looked good in moments, a lot of moments last year. There's Terry Bradshaw, Genesis. That's a uh, that's a pretty short printed card there for Arthur King and the Pittsburgh Steelers. These Genesis backgrounds, they're pretty cool. I think we're lucky to see one a case. Jordan Love as well. I don't know when he when he when is he gonna get in fact. See the little bend right there? I just want to show you. Maybe after Aaron Rodgers. Does Aaron Rodgers stay? Go? I think he probably stays.
There's another Jalen Hurts NFL debut. Quarterbacks drive a lot of the the football hobby market, so hopefully to be hashtag good for the hobby if Jalen Hurts does well. And there's a Tua Tungo Vailoa. That goes to Jeffrey and the Dolphins. Does he stay in Miami? Or are there rumblings that he might go to Houston instead? I don't know why the Deshaun Watson. I feel like the Deshaun Watson deal, whatever the deal may be, should, should be done by now. All right, next five boxes. Unless, I mean, you think the you think the Texans are really thinking we're just gonna hold on to him as long as possible? That's the only thing I can think of why why they're not. Unless they're thinking that they're gonna get some Godfather offer, which I don't know how realistic that is, but. Maybe they're waiting for this monster Godfather offer later on in the season. But then by the time you get training camps done, how effective is Watson going to be? There's a lot of question marks up in the air. Maybe you want to get this done before the draft because you want to get those draft picks. Would Deshaun Watson hold out if they just said we're not trading him? I guess he could. It's a lot of fines. Sean, if you're still listening, Adam St. Ange wants to know uh, who your other two plays were. When's that, so when's that fight supposed to happen? Soon, I think, right? Now, maybe? maybe that's, why, that's why there's no one in the chat tonight. Everyone's watching the, the fights. Anyone else here? Is there actually anyone in this break that's watching live right now? Oh, there's a couple fights left, okay. Otherwise, I could have just... No one was actually in this break. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Vinny's here, Roy's here, they're just hanging out. Okay, Harrison. All right, just making sure, just making sure. I was just like, I could have just started my weekend if nobody was actually watching live. Josh is still here, okay. Right, just making sure. Thanks, guys. Oh, and Arthur's here too. All right. All right. 
Ross is here too. Not in this one, but just chilling and watching. All right, thanks, guys. Just making sure. Let's see what we got here in this next five boxes. Good luck, everybody. And remember, if you end up with a with a really nice hit out of here like this one, the two, uh, hold on to it because, or maybe take the time to get it graded because the football season still a little way is still a ways away. So by the time you get it and grade it and get it back you know the football season may have started already and this might be this guy might be blowing up right there so Chris Sanchez saying go Astros seems kind of out of the blue All right. Uh, I think the best card probably is that Tua, the green Tua that we just pulled. We had a Burrow, but that was an NFL debut Burrow earlier. But yeah, I think Vinny, you're right. You gotta gotta get it. Always get it graded. You know, hopefully, I mean, whether Tua stays or goes or wherever he ends up, I think he's still pretty popular. And just with a little bit of success, even in the new town, you know, that could be. Could still be, you know, a lot, a lot of money if it grades out nicely, and I feel like Mosaic in general tends to grade out, grade out nicely. There's Deshaun. Where where is he gonna go? He's jamming everybody up. There's Antonio Gandy Golden rookie scripts, rookie autograph for EA and the Washington Football Team. I think with this sort of the surface is always always a little bit of an issue, but I feel like the edges and corners are always pretty. At least whenever we see stuff graded from out of mosaic, most people seem to say they grade out decently. I actually have no idea how the centering looks, but ooh, and we've got a Larry Fitzgerald Genesis. Nice. That's a nice short print for Joseph. That's our second one out of this case. I was saying earlier, we're lucky to see one in a case. <laughs> now to get two. A little bit of top loader fuzz on there. There you go. That's pretty nice. The other one was uh, Terry Bradshaw. Joseph Barton with the Cardinals. Gets that one. Love that. Russell Wilson. Is Russell Wilson going anywhere? He's jamming people up. Jefferson. Let's find a nice parallel. Ooh! Tua Tungo Vailoa, rookie scripts, autograph. Jeffrey Hen and the Miami Dolphins. Wow, oh, we're, start, we're starting to heat up in this case a little bit here. Nice. Higgins Green. And we got a regular base Joe Burrow. Nice. A little bit of dust there. Speaking of grading, I know a lot more people are doing grading now. And um, I've gotten this question just from customers in our store. I've gotten questions of cleaning the car. Should you do it? Yes, you should. I think on, like just, I'm not saying go nuts on it and don't use any chemicals or anything like that, but usually you could use, because you know, there's just naturally dust that hap that just occurs on a card coming out of a pack, you know, or just natural dust inside our store that could end up falling on top of those cards or whatever. But I think just using, 
You can go to Amazon and get um, eyeglass cleaner, like for your glasses, uh, eyeglass cleaning cloth, and you can just very lightly, you know, wipe off any sort of light fingerprints or uh, or dust. It's usually dust that's the issue. You know, so if you have that, you can just be able to do a light bit of cleaning on there. There you go, Sean. Hey, uh, Adam St. Ange was wondering what your other, what your two other plays were, or what your what your plays are. I guess now now that the third one is coming up of your parlay of your fight parlay. All right, another five boxes. Good luck. Got about another, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so in this break. I'm dragging a little bit. It's my, it's my last night of the week. Yes, indeed it is, Jarrell. I am beat. I guess I would do that update baseball break if that sells out because that extends that thousand dollar promo to tomorrow. Otherwise, that thousand dollars goes away. I guess it saves us money, but we want to, we want to give it away. Sterling Nunez and Adsanya. So what were the odds? Like Yeah, going back to the grading thing. Yeah, just you can do a little a little light cleaning with a uh, eyeglass cloth. I've heard some people say that there there are people on like Facebook groups. Oh, gotcha. Minus one ten, minus eleven hundred, and minus two forty combined for the plus two, almost plus two hundred. That's not bad. There you go. 24 Escalade, is that you? That's Jeffrey? Keep pulling me to us, he's saying. Congrats, man. So far, so good. Adam likes your plays. He says you're going to win that parlay. Uh, maybe, I should, maybe I should have bought the fight. Yeah, I mean, he might. Yeah. At this point, try not to try not to sell your football in the off season. But yeah, once the season starts heating up, because there's this is for every sport. In their off season, the, the the prices of the top guys will dip a little bit. It's actually a good time to buy to try to bu uh, attempt to buy low on some football players. But but yeah, buy low and then watch the watch the prices go back up. Um, when the season starts and especially, you know, yeah. And it's like fantasy sports, right? You're, you're saying, Hey, I'm buying low on so-and-so, right? Maybe you buy low on Joe Burrow. He got injured. We were not going to see him for a little while, but if you think you, from what you saw, if you think he's going to be a star, buy low on Joe Burrow. I'm sure, I'm sure his cards are probably lower than they were. And then just hold on to him for a year or so. And hopefully you grade some out, get some tens, maybe some profit. That's it. 
ultimate long-term bet, I think. And it's fun. PSA or BGS? Well, I think if you're grading just like this green Tua right here, this NFL debut Tua, then you I think usually most people seem to go with PSA. But if you have an autograph like that other Tua, then maybe you send that one BGS because they grade the autos. PSA doesn't necessarily give you a separate auto grade. Jalen Ragor. There's another base Joe Burrow. But I, I kind of... It's tough because I kind of like the subgrades too that BGS gives you. But but yeah, non-autos, I think most, most people tend to lean towards PSA. You know, Florian, it's not, we were discussing HG, HGA earlier today. I honestly, I admittedly, I don't know enough about them to really make a strong opinion on it. But I think in general, it'll be interesting to kind of keep an eyeball or two on all the sort of quote-unquote third-party grading services, of, of which I think there are a number of that people are kind of getting into and experimenting with. So I've heard some people say, I think that's going to be, you know, they're very bullish on it. It's going to be a very viable third-party grading service, you know. I think Gary V, someone said, had name-checked HGA. I think there's more of a more of a stricter sort of computer grading process that they use that BGS and PSA only use a little of or not not as much of. It's not the final not the final answer. I think it's not the final word. I think uh, is what Sean Jasper was saying earlier. But I think with the, with how great the appetite has been for grading, you know, there has to be other competitors that have to emerge. And maybe HCA is that. You know, it's going to depend on how. How trustworthy are they going to be? You know? We've heard some... You know, there's always been accusations I don't, in, in the past that, oh, so-and-so, such-and-such grading services showing preferential treatment to big collector XYZ, you know? Every once in a while, you'll kind of hear... I don't know how much of that's even true, but they've talked about that. You know, I think BGS and PSA are, are big enough not to risk their and, and just have enough business where they they don't really have to do risk that. Would a smaller company risk that? I don't know. Or maybe they've seen that with PSA and those accusations that go around. Maybe unfounded, but you know, some accusations, but. Uh, But that's what the the smaller third party companies have to be just hyper aware of not to fall to that. And the most important thing I think after that is just is just uh, how uh, how do they resell on a secondary market? Vinny, are you asking? Are you? Saying you're hoping you can get a Mahomes out of there, or are you saying that? Are you asking if Mahomes is on the checklist? Yeah, and I think you do have to be a, you do have to be different in some sort of way in grading a card to somehow compete. Yeah, maybe they can find a, a maybe a third party company could find a, a more niche 
in this year. I don't know. It's, it'll be fun to see, though, over the next few years. Especially to see which, um, you know, which of those third-party companies. I think, And I think it's just all going to come down to money at the end of the day. What's gonna, what's gonna give you? What's the, like the most comparable in price to, you know, to a PSA ten? I think I did see a Mahomes here. Mahomes is shit. Right. Someone else mentioned that too, and the the color labels. You can I think match the color of the label to whatever you want it to be. I think. You know, if you, especially if you have your own, I think especially if you have your own, like, maybe sort organizing system, right? The way you organize all of your graded cards. That could be something, that should be an idea that I think BGS or PSA should steal. You know, in this day and age, you know, you want, you have like five different, you have a dozen different colors for the cars that you buy, a dozen colors for like the computers you can buy, a dozen colors for all of your phones that you can buy. You know, you have, there's just the idea of like that kind of customization I think is, is, uh, is pretty common these days. I mean, you play any like video game, you know, I'm playing a lot of golf on uh, my PS4 and like, and like in this part, I don't really get into, but there, there's like you can customize like all the shoes that I'm wearing, the golf shoes, pants, shorts, watch, belt, hat, glasses, everything. A zillion different combinations of everything. So why not offer that? Yeah, Florian saying you can you can match in the card team or just just make a simple label. Um, I'm, I don't play games very often, <laughs> Vinny. I don't, I don't even know what Warzone is. I, the PSA 4 was definitely a pandemic purchase. And, uh, I bought it last summer. I think in like in August. And I think I've maybe played, I've maybe played like 25 hours on it or something like that. Over the last like eight, nine months. Which is not a lot. <laughs> been NASCAR but NASCAR I'm not a turn out I'm not very good at it it's hard maybe you have to maybe you have to put it on a much easier setting but yeah the I play I play my Nintendo switch a lot more I play a lot of Mario Kart and the, uh, the there's a I play Sword and Shield, the Pokemon game. I put a lot. I've put, I've put a lot more hours into that than I have my Xbox. I don't regret it. I mean, it's it's, it's nice to just flip on if I'm if I'm no, not doing anything. I'm bored. There's nice Dwayne Haskins, 21 out of 25. These orange fluorescents. Are, uh, are not too common here, EA, and the Washington football team. 21 out of 25. Dwayne Haskins, could he revive his career somewhere? Maybe, maybe he marinates. I mean, they restructured Ben's contract. He's there for a couple more years. Um, I wonder if... Uh, if Dwayne Haskins marinates a little bit, learns behind uh, Big Ben, and then emerges. I think the the football experts seem to say that that uh, Dwayne Haskins just they just started him just way too early. You know, like I think everyone said, hey, he that guy's got some raw skills, but he he needs to marinate a little bit. 
before before he's going to be an effective QB. And so maybe they just did rushed him too early. There's a silver Zach Moss for the Buffalo Bills. Joe Barton with that. It's pretty good. Joe Mixon Mosaic. All right, two more blasters to go. Yeah, I was just going to ask that, Florian. Is Russell Willis just saw his card flash by? We asked this a little bit earlier, too. I don't know what Russell Wilson's going to be. Like, from all I hear, it seems like he's he's unhappy with the way things are going in Seattle. Like, the offensive line, he's running around too much. The offense isn't going through him. They're running first before he can pass. All that sort of stuff. But I don't know if he realizes that maybe that system is best for him. Because they let him cook and it kind of didn't work. There he is again. And then they went back to... Then they went back to run first and that actually was better for them. I think. There's another Tua NFL debut. So I don't know if he actually wants what he thinks he wants. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, like, I think I want to date an actress. <laughs> but maybe I really don't want that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Cam Akers, Silver. So I, I, I think maybe it's a little grass is greener sort of situation going on there. Maybe he just needs a, his 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 ego needs a little soothing, you know. I don't know. He was kind of a little bit of a home wrecker, right? He's just like, hey, I don't want to get. I'm not asking for a trade, but if I got traded, here's where I'd want to go. Vegas. <laughs> it's like Derek Carr. What's Derek Carr thinking? He's at home going. Derek Carr's at home going. Hey, you know, Derek Carr's family's like, we just got settled here. Here's Russell Wilson trying to jam us up. Once we got settled here in Vegas. You know? You think Derek Carr is going to win the Super Bowl next year? Well, he would have to have a pretty incredible season and a, and a much better defense for that to happen. There's Tom Brady. I mean, that defense... Remember, Tom Brady threw a few interceptions in Green Bay. Two? Two or three interceptions, which is very uncharacteristic, but... But he wasn't playing very well. That Tampa Bay defense is kept pressuring Aaron Rodgers. That's what got him to the Super Bowl and ultimately win the Super Bowl, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I think really Russell Wilson should stay. You know, I I, I think he he's beloved there. You know, he's still a great player. Then maybe the, maybe Seattle needs to. It's a pretty nice break. Look at that. Maybe Seattle needs to kind of. Yeah, appease Russell Wilson. Not even appease, but just kind of give some, give him something to work with. You know, give him off offensive line. You know, make him feel love. Show him the love. You know, and it might not take that much to for Russell Wilson to turn his attitude around and be like, yeah, you know what? I was just heat of the moment. I'm fine now. Listen, I talked to everybody. They're they're working with me. We're gonna get some running backs here. We're gonna get some offensive line help. I might be able to cook a little bit, but I understand we got to be run first because now we got this really nice running back coming in. You know, they got there's got to be something like that. We're rebuilding the defense. He's got to have some assurances. Yeah, I think he feels like his window is closing. All right, folks, for another Super Bowl win. All right, folks, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a lot of good chatter. We're gonna t break football and chat football um, all year long. So keep joining our breaks and keep chit-chatting with us. We love talking about this sort of stuff. So thank you very much. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com. That was the blaster break. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.